right, what's up everybody? Today, we're gonna talk about the offensive line. The serious cap mode time, all right? And this is the white one with the D. It's the, the Dallas Cowboys D, all right? Every now and then I get a person that says, why are you wearing a Duke cap? I'm like, come on, man. All right? <laughs> People, man, they crack me up sometimes. They really do. It, it's good times though. It's good times. Keep the comments coming keep the likes coming I, I can't do this without you guys so i really appreciate all of you you know it's been a good off season getting through this dead zone like we like we talk about talking about the roster uh the last one we talked about was linebackers good conversation there so let's get right into this one here the offensive line all right so let's take a look at this all right so last year the cowboys had uh eight offensive linemen that made the team all right Tyron Smith, Jonathan Cooper, Travis Frederick, Zach Martin, Lyle Collins, Chaz Green, Joe Looney, and Byron Bell. All right, so eight eight players. So that'll be what we do for this exercise. I'm going to say with the Cowboys, stick with eight. All right, so um, also looking at this slide here, you'll see all of the offensive linemen that we currently have here on the 90-man roster. Looney, Frederick, Damian Mama, Marcus Martin, we acquired him in free agency. Uh, Connor Williams, our second round draft pick out of the University of Texas. All right. Kareem Edwards, Zach Martin, the Beast of Beast, Chaz Green, Bryce Johnson, Cameron Fleming. We got him in free agency as well. Tyron Smith, Jake Campos, and Lyle Collins. All right. So that's what we have on the team right now. All right. So, like I said, we're going to go with eight players. And these are the eight that I have making the team. And of course, obviously, these are pre-camp projections, all right? So these will obviously could change. They could change depending on how camp looks. You know, hope it knock on wood that everybody stays healthy. But all these projections we've been doing have been pre-camp projections, all right? So let's look at my top eight. Check this out. All right, Tyron Smith. <laughs> Tyron Smith, man, this guy, what can you say? All right. Um, all indications are that he's ready to go here. He's ready to rock and roll for the this season. Saying that the back feels good, hamstrings and all that. Um, he's been doing yoga, and um, he's been working with uh, you know the new coach there, offensive lineman coach. And uh, steady as she goes. All right, so we'll see how he does. He will get the vet days during training camp. Don't be surprised by that. Um, and at this stage of his career, you know, and he still is young, but in this stage of his career, you don't want to activate any of those injuries, all right? The second player I have making this team, Connor Williams, obviously. And these aren't in any particular order. These are just my top eight. These are my eight players that are making the team, all right? But Connor Williams making the team, obviously. Second round pick. Plug and play, baby. He's going in there at left guard. Finally getting that position locked down after a couple seasons of... You know, moving players here and there. We're finally going to lock it down there with Connor Williams. Looking forward to that one there. Travis Frederick, the center. He's the one that spearheads this offense, right? You could say he is the captain there of the offensive line. Very integral part of the offense. You have to have a guy there that anchors that offensive line. And who better than Travis Frederick? The beard. All right, so that's him. That is the man there. Travis Frederick making the team. No-brainer. Zach Martin. Uncle Scrooge, the Brinks truck, it came, and the Cowboys delivered that money in the gold bars. He's back. He signed up, man. So looking forward to see what he does. Very athletic player. You know, I, I'm really proud of Zach Martin, what he was able to do. All pro, first and second all pro since his rookie season. That's an amazing feat just in itself. So the sky's the limit. You know, he could he could continue to get better, man. With with our new offensive line coach, I think I think a lot of these guys are gonna get better, including Zach Martin. You know, he, he's still young, and he can still add more tricks to his bag, right? Uh, bag of tricks, whatever you want to call it. But uh, he'll be there. Lau Collins, the beast, all right, the beast master over there at right tackle, number seventy one. All right, so there's there's no lie you, you can't you can't sugarcoat how he kind of looked in the preseason kind of looked a little uh, uneven 
kind of leaning, kind of lunge towards some of his blocks. Chasing blocks is really what I called it early on in the season because it was. He did do a very good job opening game against JPP, but early on there were some inconsistencies there at right tackle. That, that is just the truth there, all right? But he, he did improve each game as the season went on, played through injury. This is a very tough player, all right? Plays through pain. This is the kind of guy you want at, at right tackle, all right? So he got it done, got better. I'm looking forward to what he's going to do this year. So he's making the team no-brainer. Uh, could potentially even be a pro bowler this season. Watch out for Lyle Collins this year, all right? And then the next season, watch out for the contract redo if that happens, all right? Cameron Fleming, he's making his team. I like him, all right? I like Cameron Fleming. This was a no-brainer. This is going to be – this could be a clutch acquisition, all right? He's your swing tackle, left tackle if, if uh, something happens to – Tyron Smith or Lyle Collins, we got a guy there. Experience, Super Bowl playing experience, um, just a good all-around player. So I like him. Now the bottom half here, I think your seventh and eighth players could be up for grabs completely. But what I have here, Joe Looney, Cowboys like his versatility at the guard position and center. So you're getting depth there from him. And then the eighth player, Marcus Martin. All right, they picked him up. He does have some games under his belt at the NFL level. Um, you know, former early round pick. You know, former third round pick. Uh, putting him in here with our new offensive line coach. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to what 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 he could do. I think I think his game's gonna get elevated. Now you may be asking about Chaz Green. All right, so let's talk about him real quick. Chaz Green, I, I just don't have him making this team. All right, I, I really don't. I right, just, I don't, do you want him on the team? Can you count on him? You haven't been able to count on him. Even with our new O-line coach, I just don't feel that, that he is is there, all right? When you come in here against the Rams game and all of a sudden you come up with the injury, that tells me you did not want to go up against Aaron Donald in you know, who who does, really, right? But, I mean, you got to show up and play, man. Don't chicken out. I didn't like that, and that was at the guard position. I absolutely hated his play at the tackle position. Dreadful. It's, it's just a complete bust. It's time to move on. Don't waste a, um, a roster spot on him. And these other guys, you might be able to, uh, you know, add them to the practice squad, and they'll be looking for other players um, once the, the cuts happen. But let me know what you guys think. What do you think about my top eight? Tyron Smith, Connor Williams, Frederick, Zach Martin, Lyle Collins, Cameron Fleming, Joe Looney, and Marcus Martin. All right. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think Chaz Green has a chance to make this team? Should he make this team? Do you want him on the team? Let me know what you guys think. As usual, guys, continue to like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you for the next one. Thanks, guys.